Ooh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close, but he can heal. That's the only thing. He still has resist. Hey guys, it's your boy Gloopy1. Hope you're having a great day today. I'm back on the balance, Dark Nova. Look at the, look at these stats, and then these stats, and these stats, and tell me they're not amazing. And so this is the main deck that we're rocking, and this is the side deck. And to get all these stats, we're rocking this gear with the Uber Dream Searcher rope and with this amazing pet. I think he's in the kiosk. I could be wrong, but let's get right into the match. Looks like we're against a fire, which we do have fire wards. That is pretty good, and we do have a bunch of volcanics. Okay, so he's gonna be a fuel stacking fire. Which we do have two Aegises in our main deck. So we can Aegis those Volcanics, which will be good for us. So I'm going to go ahead and Nightbringer a Blade. Because I think that's just what we want to do. And we're going to discard a Nova because we have more. And then we're going to go ahead and pass. Because he did fail Pip, so there's not much he can do to us. Except for going for a Fuel. And that's all of his Pips completely down the drain. Now something I can do is summon a Dummy Thick Mander Minion. Because against Fire Wizards, Mander Minion is just so good. And because he's trap stacking, I'm not really certain if he has fire elves because it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for him to carry trap stacking and fire elves. So I'm kind of banking on that and hoping that he doesn't because that would just be amazing for me. Let's see. It doesn't seem that he does, but he does get the aura. So that makes me a little bit worried. And what I can do is... What is the Mander doing? The Mander's mantling. That is amazing for me. I can whip on an elemental shield and I don't think he can pierce it, right? I'm going to hope he can't. Yeah, he can't pierce it because the fire tool comes last. Can you like fizzle that? Please, that would make my day. Oh, you fire beetles. That was, that's a good move. I respect it. I respect that move. Does he just go for a fire shark? Oh, he's just going to trap stack. I think he's trying to gonna try to go for a shatter. Um, I do want to get a stun block up before I do hop into shrike. What are you doing? Or not shrike. Sorry, Dark Nova. I apologize. I am going to go ahead and do a dummy thick shadow blade here in preparation for the Dark Nova because I already have a Shad, so at any point I can get the other Shad once my Shad meter's high enough. So I just want to go ahead and prepare for it. I do pull my Aegis Volcanics. That's amazing. Is he just fueling again? Cool. To prevent a Shatter, I could go for this, but I think... I just want to go for... Yeah, I think... If I, I can use the Shadow Blade while I'm in Shrike... I'm um, sorry, Nova to buff up Nova's. I haven't played Nova in so long, can you tell? But I can use the Shadow Blade in Nova to buff up the Nova. Um, and it won't give me an extra buff, but it will take the Nova to the next stage. I'm assuming he's going to take off my shields here um, to put on pressure. Does he Fire Shark? Oh. Really? Is that not all of his pips gone? I I'm assuming this is just to take out the minion. Which, I mean, I guess, but uh, it's not that good of a move. Like, yeah, you take off the minion, but you waste your shad and, like, all your pips, and you don't do, like, any damage to me. If this was just straight on me, that's, that was worse than taking out the minion. Yeah, he does. Rest in peace, minion, but he does only do 300 damage to me. I do want to get that shield off before I send the Nova, because if I send the Nova, he can just shield spam his way out of it. I'm assuming he, yeah, he goes for a shield here. I can Clockwork Spider, that way I can't fail pip after I go for the Volcanic Shield right here, because that's just objectively the best move. Because otherwise, he can get a Swarm Machine on me or an F FFA, and that is literally just game over if he gets those on me. But the good news for me is, now, I believe one of those traps, yeah, those traps should be gone off me, so I should only have two traps on me. So I like that. And I can summon the Clockwork again, because, or I can summon the Clockwork uh, minion, because obviously he's having trouble with minions. So beautiful. So the clockwork is hopefully going to help us. What is he going for? He's trying. Is he just going to double pierce? I mean, that has protection on it. What are you doing, minion? You're mantling? That's amazing for me. I'm going to go ahead and tower. That way he can't just double pierce it off. But I really need to pull a steel giant here. Also, if he could just fizzle. That would be amazing as well. Oof. Okay, so he just he does just go for another shatter. Um... So that's his strategy, he's just shatter spamming? Oh, minion, y y you saw that garbage he was doing and you were just like, nah, we're not having that. All right, well, I can just shatter him, right? Send the Dark Nova, and then by the time I send the Dark Nova and it's up and everything, the minion should hit, so if he shields, then that he takes it off. And I do get the aura from that, because I think he's going to shield here, right? I think he's going to shield here in preparation for the Nova, so he can just shield spam his way out of it. But the minion should take off his shield and I can be sitting here chilling with the Dark Nova. I could also elemental defuse him. That would actually, that's a huge brain IQ play because he can't hit me for one turn and then he can't shield. What is he doing? 
He's Hephaestusing. What I can actually go for, because this is going to do absolutely nothing through all my shields, I can actually go for the Diffuse here, because he's going to have two traps and a bubble, and I don't think I want to just take those hits. I'm going to Diffuse and then try to go for the Nova. He does take off the Fire Dispel, and it is on me. I'm assuming it's just a Fuel, though. Maybe he just defreats me or something. Like, that would be preferable. Um, I do have Fire Ward. I think I have to go for the Elemental Shield here. I know the Dark Nova is... I've got, like... I have to send the Dark Nova next turn to be able to utilize the Infowl with it. Because you need to have your aura a tick higher than what the Dark Nova is. Actually, no, I have to send it on four rounds, don't I? Oof. So I won't be able to utilize the Infowl with it regardless. He takes off the Ice Dispel. That's beautiful. I should send the Dark Nova right now. He done messed up. He done goofed up. He done go he done goofed up. Minion, beautiful. That's exactly what I want. Um, now I discard a bunch, and I'm gonna try to pull for a green oak from side or from main. And because with a green oak weakness, I do have ward, right? So I do have fire ward. With a green oak weakness, I don't think it can do a whole lot to me. And I think he's gonna try to freak me, right? Um, but an freak's not gonna do that much to me because it's a 45, and I simply just do something like a midnight sprite to take it off. And he can't, you know, if he has the Enfeeble Jewel socketed, he can't Enfeeble me because of that um, Storm, that Storm Dispel. I think he's going to shield here. It, it would be very bad for me if he didn't shield here. Ooh, what is this? Oof, okay. At least that doesn't put another trap on me. So I do have to go for the Midnight Sprite. I think he's going to Efreet me, in which case I do a Nightbringer blade into a uh, green oak are, are all the traps off me oh my god that's beautiful all the traps are off me so with my ward he shouldn't be able to do a whole lot to me like at all even with the bubble don't hit beautiful that's perfect minion that's literally perfect so i'm going to have to pull for a green oak right here actually i have a full another turn because i am going to go for a nightbringer i do think that he's going to go for a um an afrit here because I don't think an, I don't think he thinks an FFA will kill me, especially after that weakness. He's, he made a shield. He made a shield here. I can do a double Nightbringer play, like Nightbringer Hex into a Nightbringer Blade. Literally, I could just do that. Ooh, that fuel, though. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Delay cast Nightbringer. Minion's blading me. Uh, I if he shields again, I might as well just try to go for a feint. Because if it's going to be the same shield... I don't even have the green oak. What is he going for? Is this an Afrit, I'm assuming? It is an Afrit. Ooh. I really don't like this scenario. How much is that doing? That's doing a lot. I don't think I have anything else. So I am unfortunately going to have to go for the Clockwork Spider, which the Nova doesn't particularly like, so I am going to be taking a large amount of backlash, but I think it's my only option. And I also am taking the bubble away from him, so that is good for me. And I am putting a hex on him, which, the, you know, the Nova does like. But I, but the infowl ticks off before the Nova goes off. Yeah, see there, the infowl ticks off. Then I send the hex, and then the Nova likes it. But for some reason, it glitches and doesn't reduce my backlash, I don't believe. Um, and he puts, he puts the extra shadow trap on. Can I get the infowl back? Like, thank you, pet. I'm telling you, Nova casts... Nova has so many infowl triggers. Like you get the no you get the infowl all the time. That's not gonna reduce my backlash though. So the only hope that I have is that whatever he does can't kill me because I don't know if this kills. It should. Logically, you would think it should because he has he has no resist left. Oh my goodness. Oh my. We destroyed him out of my arena. Oh and yeah, we just took twenty percent backlash. What is what? How are you gonna what? We got another match. I decided to put in two green oaks, sorry, no, two savage paws in my side deck because that that game was much closer than it needed to be. And it would have been a lot better for me if I'd had be able to pull something from side. What is he doing? All right. And now I cannot hydra him or nest at him. Didn't really plan on doing either one of those. Um, I'm going to brace early because that's a life. I feel like he's just going to do a bunch of luminous spamming. Um, and with my 61 resist plus a brace up, uh, that, you know, that's what counters Luminous Spam. Also, our Shad Meter is just popping off. Is he going for a minion here? He's gonna Blade Stack? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pass, because obviously he doesn't know that we're Dark Nova yet. So that's the good thing we can keep is the surprise. We can Clockwork. Ooh. Yes, if he's gonna Blade Stack, I don't think he's gonna want to be able to take off. Yeah, see, like, he wouldn't have done that if we had gone for the Shadow Blade there. So I do think we want to go for the Clockwork minion here. Because unless he wand hits it, he's not going to be able to take it off. 
and he only has a 75 percent chance of critting a wand hit and unless he has damage for the wand hit even with the crit i'm not sure if he can take out the clockwork just because of how overpowered the clockwork is do not you dare crit this do not you dare okay don't have damage yes i told you even if they crit doesn't take out the minion minion can you like a spirit shield me like literally perfect now we go for the shadow blade because we already have a shadow pit oh he's minioning Ooh, that was a good move i should be able to take out that minion with a clockwork spider though which i really need to pull okay i don't pull it i'm gonna have to pull it next turn because i need to pull that clockwork spider for that minion i didn't fail pip that's beautiful that's exactly what we wanted to happen um oh a steel giant's also pretty perfect is he shielding the minion that's fine i just need the minion to not take off my shield right now oh yeah perfect so now this prevents him from shielding and it should take out the minion unless he triages the minion and if he triages the minion then it's a little bit try hard and i can still kill it with a clockwork spider we do crit so that's good for us so that, i know that will take out the minion it just i'm gonna really hope he doesn't have a triage oh beautiful uh, does he just summon another one yeah he does that's tragic i got a uh, clockwork spider that i'll just shadow blade again i don't have another option fine i guess i'll i guess i'll clockwork minion because i can't clockwork spider I can do this into the shield, into the clockwork spider for the minion. I think my move here is to um, shield my dummy thick minion after pulling for a... I pulled another steel giant, so I can just do that. But I really want a clockwork spider. I guess I send another steel giant, right? I have to. I don't have another option here. I mean, I know it kills the minion. I don't have another. I have two clockwork spiders inside, which that'll make it to where I cannot fail pip. And it'll make it to where my minion has a very high chance to get power pips as well. So that's just, you know, by far the better move, but I cannot do it. I don't think he's going to triage the minion, even though, like, he should have kept his triage considering I just used an overtime on the minion. Um, does he just summon another? He's just passing, and the minion's dead 100%. A good move for me relatively soon is to go for a spirit shield. What is that? That one's just a regular one on me. Um, and another great move is to go for an earthquake, because that will get rid of all of his blades. And if he summons another minion... It'll get rid of all of his blades, it'll get rid of the minion, and it'll tell us if that cloak shield on him is a stun block or if it's a set shield. Is it another minion? It is. Can I not just send a Dark Nova here? Oh, and the minion's blading me? Yes, please. I will. I would love to accept your blade. Like, I should just be able to Dark Nova into the green oak into the sprite or or sprite into the green oak whatever does more with the infowl and all the blades i could possibly want the only way he can counter this is with an earthquake and he can fizzle that oh i did pull the sharpen for the green oak, so i think i'm gonna midnight sprite first <gasps> i don't have stone blocks on me yet Ooh, that's bad that's really 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 bad that's really 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 bad fortunately for me i don't think he notices like i can just hope he doesn't notice mantle him yes he can fizzle the stun i don't think he's gonna go for the stun even though it's the best move i like a like a like a, like a brainless i forgot to go for the stun block before i went for the nova i just i don't think i even pulled it so now i gotta go for the green oak he can fizzle like he can unless he just has really high myth or ice accuracy he can base fizzle the stun right and if he fizzles a shield then I simply try to go for a feint, because that's that's a beautiful move is a feint. Can I please feint? Uh, do you just shield? He does fizzle. So a feint's my best move here. Oh, and the minion's going for my minion. If I don't have a feint, then I have to green oak. Oh, I have a savage paw? I think a savage paw is best, right? I think a savage paw is best because it does the most damage. I will have a savage ball. I don't have a faint. I just guess I just discarded them um, from side. This should do a lot of damage. Um, yeah, like 900. I I fully believe this 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 uh this Stark Nova should kill. That's what three different blades on me and a pierce blade and a double tra no just a single trap. Ooh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close. But the good news is he cannot kill me, but he can heal. That's the only thing. He still has resist, which that's a ton of resist if you still have resist to all that. 7,000, that kills, right? That kills, yes! That was 40 pierce and an infowl and a pierce plate, and you still had resist. 
if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button below, but only like it if you really like it. And if you learned something today, hit that sub button, turn on notifications, so you're notified whenever I upload a video. And post any tips, tricks, questions, comments, or hit them in the description below. Make sure to sub to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, join the Discord, and comment on the video for your chance to enter my giveaway of 13,750 crowns. And I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!